Live from NASDAQ's market site, I'm your host, Christina Ayanian. And joining me today is CEO of ThoughtSpot, Sadish Nair. Sadish, thank you so much for joining us. So ThoughtSpot is an AI-driven company. To start us off, can you talk a little bit about ThoughtSpot and what are the opportunities for AI in the analytics space? So ThoughtSpot is AI-powered analytics. Now, even as I'm saying it, I can see how boring that is. So let me try to make it a little simpler. ThoughtSpot is uh, built for anyone who wants to take actions driven from data insights. But that process of analyzing, how can we make it delightful? How can we make it more huggable? That's what we are about. And AI play a huge part in it. You're really fostering a culture of data literacy and innovation within the organization. It is true. See, remember, we all talk about uh, a data-driven culture. But the reality is most people are afraid of data. And, and that is the reality. It doesn't matter, CEOs, CFOs, because there is no place to hide when it comes to numbers. If I say something in words, and if you challenge me, I can dance around it. But if I were to come in and say it is 3.2%, and if you challenge me and say, no, it is 2.9%, I have no place to hide. So what happens is data-driven culture is easy to say, hard to do. And what we often find is that people make decisions based on their gut, and then they find data that justifies the decision they already made. And we are trying to change that. So you're enabling non-technical employees to really understand these complex data models and to use that and focus on strategic de decision making. And think about what if. So you can sit here and say, I see it. Now, analytics in general is about rear view mirror, like what happened in the past. And if you're really good, sometimes it enables you to say why it happened, based cohort analysis and stuff like that. But to your point, what you're really trying to do is to improve the future, right? You have rewrite tomorrow. Tomorrow is about based on the data, what happened, why it happened, what will happen, what if I change something, can I change the future? The last two parts are really difficult. So we are using uh, GPT and uh, Google Palm and others to bridge the gap between the past and the future. So what, to why, to what will, to what if in a seamless, natural language driven experience. What are some of the innovations that are happening in the company? How do you address this opportunity? Look, I think this is what we are going through is a tectonic shift with respect to technology. AI is not a fad, it's not a hype, it's not crypto. It is something real. It's here to stay. It is here to stay, it is here to change. We are all going to be affected by it. However, right now the way we are seeing this is that the infrastructure is being built and it is going to be commoditized. Uh, right now it's open AI, Microsoft, all those no, uh, noise there, but there's going to be commoditized, which means that applications need to be built. So what we are doing, we are innovating with respect to design, we are innovating with respect to mathematics, and for example, today everyone talks about GPT. Uh, Chat GPT is good with words, but it doesn't do math. We use it to deliver math, formulas, and analytics. So there's a plenty of innovation to happen on the math side, the formula side, and the design side. So that's what our focus is. What are you seeing when it comes to AI adoption in the enterprise going off of that point? Two groups. Groups who are saying AI is going to change everything, let's jump all in. Then there are larger companies who are standing on the sidelines saying, this seems like real, but I don't want my data to go away. And I don't want the data to train because data is our business, that's our secret sauce. If I'm a pharmaceutical company and I have a clinical research for the last 20 years, I don't want to send it out. So they are trying to stand silent and say, this is interesting, but how do I responsibly implement it? They are worried about con uh, you know, governance, control, security, privacy. So these groups are actually, you know, the bifurcation is happening. What we are trying to do is to focus on the signal, not the noise, and to deliver how we deliver safe and responsible AI innovation for large enterprise companies. You're very uniquely positioned because this foundational AI support is embedded in your genes. See, look, I think this is a, an extremely important point. Everyone is jumping in, and everyone is sprinkling AI and saying, no, we are AI. That's not going to cut it, because AI has to be built from the ground up. The scale, the complexity, the performance, the control, the security, the most important thing with respect to numbers is trust. Can you trust the data? If I go to ChatGPT and ask, what are the best places to visit in Scotland, it sends me a bunch of things. It's OK, good enough. But when it comes to numbers, if I'm running to a board meeting and the GPT comes in and say your customer churn number is 3.2, if I don't know where it came from, how it came, I won't be able to be comfortable going there with that number. So infusing trust requires building with AI as the front end. And that is why we have an advantage because all the legacy incumbents were built way before AI 
and we were built with AI from the day one. And similarly, you're able to build that trust within your customers. 100%. And it is something we have to earn. I mean, just because the architecture is there doesn't necessarily mean people will trust us. So what we are doing is taking use case after use case, using the technology that we have built, the problems customers have, and we are co-innovating. And what's happening right now is that the cycle of disruption is so short, no one knows what 18 months from one look like, which means that customers want to build with us. In ThoughtSpot, what we uh, deliver is agility and quality. So we compete with Microsoft and Salesforce. These are massive companies, but one of the downsides of being massive is they're slow. We are delivering capabilities every week, every month. So speed, responsible, trustworthy innovation is how we are differentiating. And it sounds like you're really investing heavily in R&D, which is propelling that innovation. What makes you stand out from your competitors? Two things. One is, when it comes to uh, R&D, we are fighting for talent directly with OpenAI and Microsoft, Meta, all of them. So we are able to uh, you know, show high quality work for people, and people want to do high quality work, and they want to see it in production fast. So we are able to do that, number one. Number two, we are a pre-IPO company, we are a growth stage company, which means we also have to deliver responsible growth. So we are taking a global approach for R&D. We believe that opportunities are not evenly distributed, but talent is. So we are going where the talent is. So we have R&D centers doing high quality AI work, in London and it is in Bangalore and Hyderabad and all of these places. So we are able to also keep an eye towards making sure that R&D investment is growing, but in a way that is responsible so that the PNL also benefits. So responsible growth is what we are trying to get with R&D. And you have grown tremendously. You are a Series F company raising almost $700 million to date. Congratulations. What's next for ThoughtSpot? Look, I think we want to be an iconic company. And what does that mean? It means that we have to show that the technology mode that we have built will last many years, number one. Number two, it's the culture that is built to last, which means that it's not just organic. We have to do things like M&A, responsible acquisitions, and bring them into the culture, so that's number two. And number three, I've, you know, sitting here in NASDAQ, I've, 2016 I was here as part of an IPO of a previous company. Uh, for me, taking a company public is how customers will trust that these numbers are verifiable, this is a company built to last. To me, the day zero of the company resets again, and the beginning, the building, the next phase of the company builds after taking the company public. I definitely want to make sure that ThoughtSpot has a potential to go be public and be an iconic company built to last. So that's another challenge in front of us. And we have no doubt you will be. Thank you so much for sharing your story. We look forward to welcoming you back and continue following. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> Thank you.